This is a story that has a fair bit of everything. It speaks to access to the presidency, how much the country is prepared to bend over in attracting visitors, especially during the peak December period, the dignity of the presidency, and some say the president's obsession with visibility. For some time now, every visiting musician, sports star has been ushered in to meet the president. And McMill, an American rapper, did too, rocking a white t-shirt, basketball shorts, and white trainers. Now, Joseph Jacoma insisted yeah. that you should come and say hello to me, and I appreciate that very much. Leveraging our mutual strengths of each other and for each other so that we can elevate the position of black people in the world. Yeah. Uh, here and over there in the Americas as well. It's a, it's a very important development for both of us. Yeah. I'm very keen on it and we're doing a lot of talking around the world yeah. to make sure that there's a clear understanding on all our parts of how very, very, very important it is for our, our future that we connect and everything that is built around that yeah. to grow. In addition to meeting the president, Mill rode bikes on major streets without helmets. Lost his phone during a concert that sent the police on a search before it was retrieved and then said he had been treated like a king in Ghana. He was right. On Sunday, he released a video skit that captured the level of access he had to the Jubilee House, the seat of government. I have that's what got me in this room with the president right here making music. So I use that as my door to keep activating things and making it to Ghana is a dream of mine to always be able to come back here and do anything. I don't know what to tell you that you would like or love, but anything that builds, anything that connects the bridge to the young black people where we come from, because we don't know about this. American officials don't really talk to us like that and just being invited here. Uh, I was willing to stay here all day just to meet some black, strong people that really come from where we come from. So I appreciate you and thank you for having us. This particular video has not gone down well through with intensive public criticism of it across social media. A lecturer at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology Department of Communication, Dr. Daniel Nkrumah said the Jubilee House must adopt proactive measures to prevent such incidents from occurring. We have to adopt proactive and reactive measures. Proactive first, in the sense that is there a compelling reason for such a guest to the president? Could the minister handle such a visit? Um, we have to analyze um, the pros and cons. Is it so important? Is it a high profile meeting? Is there an issue that should be raised at the level of the presidency to get the kind of media, media attention or the public attention that it deserves? Protocol wise, it didn't speak well of our, our system, an error on the part of both the security apparatus and the communicators of the, of the presidency. He added it was insensitive on the part of McMill to appear before a president in such an outfit. You see that he was very casual about it. And that was a bit off in terms of our cultural sensitivity, right? And I felt it was primarily because he was not well oriented. Maybe in their culture, it wasn't so much an issue. But in our culture, I think there should have been some orientation. So you begin to ask yourself, is there any such um, protocol arrangement, particularly for foreign guests? Because you're talking about cross-cultural communication where um, one cue may mean something different in another culture. So sometimes a particular foreign guest will expect that there should be some type, some kind of orientation in the area of cross-cultural communication, but that was not done. McMill has since deleted the video, but the jury is still out on what it communicates about the presidency and what some say is Ghana's leisure fair approach to the seat of government all in the name of Year of Return. Blessings, blessings.